In this video, I'll show you how to remove shipping from a specific product in WooCommerce using two different methods. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com, go ahead and download the conditional shipping and payments plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded that plugin, just go ahead and upload it. So you go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload it. Once you've done so, just go through the activation process and then it will and then it will just take us to this add-ons page here. And then we can go ahead and enable the shipping and payments plugin. Okay, so I'll just toggle this to on and this is turned on fine. So that's it for now. So now we'll just head over to the product page and then we'll go ahead and disable shipping for a specific product on the product page. Okay, so we'll just navigate to products and then we're gonna go ahead and disable shipping for this particular product here. Okay, so before we actually disable shipping for this particular product, let's just double check that shipping is actually being applied. Okay, so I'm just going to add this to cart and then let's go ahead and view cart. Okay, so we've got a few products in our cart here. So I'll remove um, these other products and then we'll just leave this particular product here. Okay, so it's saying we need to enter in our shipping address so we can see the shipping option. So I'm just going to add in our billing details here. Okay, so now that we've actually entered in our um, shipping details on the checkout page, um, now we can see the shipping option. So we can see we've got standard um, shipping and then we've got local pickup. So for this particular scenario, I'm going to disable um, just the standard shipping. So we've only got local pickup available. If you want it as well, you can disable all shipping. But just for this example, I'm going to go ahead and disable the standard shipping. OK, so we'll head back to the product page and then we'll go ahead and edit the product that we want to remove um, the shipping from. OK, so I'm going to navigate down to where it says restriction. OK, so you've seen this option because we've enabled the WooSuite conditional shipping and payments plugin. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and add a new shipping um, method restriction. So we just click add and then here we can give it a um, name and it's just for internal purposes. Okay. So we'll just say, okay. So I've just um, titled it disabled standard shipping. And again, it's just for internal purposes. And then here where it says exclude methods, I'm going to go ahead and disable um, our standard shipping methods. Okay. And based on the different um, shipping zones and methods you've set up, then you'll see them here. Okay. So I'm just going to disable this standard um, shipping for USA. OK, here you've got the option to show the excluded shipping method. So if we enable this option, we can show the shipping excluded shipping method and then we can add a notice to let customers know why that um, method's not available to them. Or you can just leave it unticked and it will basically just hide it from the cart page and the checkout page completely. We can add various conditions as well. So based on their billing address, cart total, customer role, um, item quantity, shipping, postcode and so on. OK, so I'm just going to leave it like this for now. So this is going to be disabled for all um, customers. OK, so let's just update this. OK, and we've already got this in our cart page and here we can see the standard shipping. So now if we refresh this page, um, we shouldn't be able to select this standard shipping option. And now you can see that it's only local pickup available. So if you want it as well, you can disable the local pickup. For this particular product, I only want customers to order online and then can pick up locally. OK, so that's why I've left this um, local pickup option available. OK, so as I mentioned in the intro, I'll show you two different methods. So um, this method that I'll show you won't work for everyone, but we can actually head back over to this product page and we can tick this box where it says virtual okay so really you only want to do this if it's actually a virtual product okay but we can enable this option and then basically it will disable um all shipping options okay so let's just update and then when we refresh this cart page there won't be any shipping options available okay so if you sell digital products um, maybe this particular methods will work for you, but you've got two solid um, methods to restrict um, the shipping options for a specific customer. And that's it for this video. We've had a look at two different methods in how you can actually restrict shipping for a specific products. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.